Well, if you've got money in the market, you will want to watch what happens in Washington tomorrow. Janet Yellen, President Obama's choice to become the next head of the Federal Reserve, faces the Senate Banking Committee in her confirmation hearings. She's expected to win the job, but not before being peppered with questions about interest rate policy, inflation, unemployment, transparency at the Fed, and, oh yeah, how soon she might pull back on all that stimulus the Fed's been pumping into the economy. Joining us now to talk more about Janet Yellen and what she means for your money is Michael Faroli. He's chief U.S. economist at J.P. Morgan. Michael, welcome and good evening to you. Uh, do you have any doubt that uh, Ms. Yellen is going to be confirmed? And if she is, presuming she is, how might she be a different Fed chief than Ben Bernanke? Uh, so it's our expectation that she will get confirmed. Um, in terms of differences from Bernanke, I think the most important thing uh, to keep in mind is that there's actually going to be a fair bit of continuity with, uh, with Bernanke. You know, she's served alongside Bernanke for a number of years now. Many of the policies that Bernanke has uh, created, she's helped uh, to, um, to implement. Uh, certainly that's been the case with a lot of the communication policies. So I think initially, uh, the thing is not to expect a lot of differences, but actually a fair amount of continuity. You know, Michael, we got an advanced copy of uh, Janet Yellen's testimony that she's going to uh, make in front of the uh, banking committee, and uh, she sounded very much like Ben Bernanke in her testimony, saying that it's important to, to continue supporting the recovery. Uh, I guess that's code for saying she's going to keep the stimulus plans uh, going for a while yet. But what can surprise us coming out from the Janet Yellen Fed? Is there something, everybody thinks she's going to be just like Ben Bernanke, but what could surprise us? Uh, well, again, I think as far as tomorrow's testimony, we already have the prepared remarks. And, you know, I think some people were expecting that to, to sound a little, uh, perhaps a little more hawkish than we've come to expect uh, Janet Yellen in order to, you know, um, put aside those charges that she may be too soft on inflation. We didn't really see that in those prepared remarks. And I suspect she'll, you know, sound more like herself uh, tomorrow. In terms of what could surprise us, uh, I think Yellen probably is a little, has a little greater emphasis on communication than perhaps Bernanke. You know, Bernanke was the great innovator in asset purchases and in QE. Uh, Yellen, I suspect we could see, you know, continued push toward uh, more transparency and, and even more communication than we have from the current Fed. Uh, so I think that's probably the direction to expect policy to evolve in, in coming months and years. You know, Michael, she will also, if presuming she's uh, confirmed, she'll also be dealing with a different uh, voting policymaking committee. How might that change as some of those uh, incumbents move off the open market committee, new people come in? Is it going to be a more difficult, more fractious group that she has to deal with than Mr. Bernanke has had to? I think that's right. I think certainly early next year she's going to have a very limited um, small board because you have a couple people who have retired but haven't been replaced. And then of the rotating regional reserve bank presidents, a couple of those are going to be more hawkish than Bernanke's had to deal with. So I think at least initially until we replace some of those board members, she's going to be dealing with a small committee uh, and a couple of whom are going to be opposed to what presumably she's going to want you know, more accommodative or at least continued very accommodative policies. And that may, you know, be met with at least two uh, dissents early on. And perhaps, depending on there's a vacancy in the Cleveland Fed, if that gets replaced by a hawk, you could be seeing uh, three dissents on a committee of only nine people. So I do think that that's going to be, uh, you know, a little bit of a, uh, an issue for, for Yellen early that's next year. That's interesting. And you don't see that very often, uh, at least not in uh, recent history at the Fed, either under Greenspan or Bernanke. Michael Faroli, chief economist at uh, J.P. Morgan, thanks very much. Sure. Thank you.